Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we will see uh, as part of the AWS for beginners playlist. Okay, so day three, we will see today uh, EBS volume basically. Okay, so EBS volume is basically uh, the storage devices normally, and in traditional way we normally call it as a hard drive, right? So similar way in AWS it's called as a EBS volume. So basically, what is the EBS volume? It's basically uh, EBS stands for Elastic Block Storage, which is the storage device basically, and it it's a durable and block level storage device, which is used for instances basically inside the AWS. Okay, AWS premises. So EBS volume can be uh, stored for the you know. Uh, so basically, when we use this EBS block storage, basically, so we can use for the storing the data, hosting the applications, logs application codes or any file format right data basically <clears throat> so this is the general use cases for the abs volume basically and abs uh, when we create abs volume basically uh, the condition is instance and abs volume should be in the same availability zones okay to attach it okay otherwise it will not support basically cross az okay so abs volume when we take the abs volume backup is considered as a snapshot okay when we uh, Explore the EC2 services from the left side. Basically, we will find the AMI options where a snapshot option is available. Okay, which is a backup of the EBS volume basically. Okay, and uh, for the EBS volume uh, limitations, we can increase any time without any down downtime or something. Okay, but uh, just uh, just a note, uh, we can't reduce it. Okay, <clears throat> so just uh, make this point uh, note. Basically, we can increase any time, but we can't reduce it size basically okay so there are uh, some abs volume time uh, volume types basically so the first one is solid uh, state drive which is ssd normally we called okay uh, another one is hard drive basically sdd and the last one is magnetic drive which is a older generation basically okay which we can use for the long terms of backup or something okay so we will see in the details basically so as part of the solid state drive which is ssd okay this is the best uh, for the EC2 instance basically uh, when we use any hosting, any applications or any, you know, when we we are expecting the, some kind of, you know, uh, performance or the volume level basically, read rate performance basically. Okay. So SSD volume uh, type has uh, two types uh, as of now. There are GP2, GPT2 and GPT3, which can be used for, you know, a transaction workload where frequency read rate uh, read rate you know for the small project small to medium project basically where we expect some kind of uh, you know performance okay and for incentive uh, intensive uh, workload basically there are one more uh, types which is we can use that is for a provision iops volume okay so when we uh, create the is uh, ec2 instance there is a you know for the storage, uh, if you click on that options, you will get these uh, these all the options basically. You want to select GP2 2 or GP3 or provision IOPS basically, where you need more IOPS basically read rate operations. Okay, like uh, if you are using EC2 based uh, in a database servers where you can you, you can expect some you know IOPS basically read rate operations, then you can use this kind of <clears throat> volume basically. Okay. As you can see for now, uh, you can see here the volume uh, type. Basically, this is just a comparison. Okay, GPT-3 and GPT-2. Uh, during my exploration, I found that GPT-3, okay, GPT-3 is better than GPT-2. Okay, in terms of costing and the performance wise. So you can see here the durability basically. Okay, and you can see for the provision IOPS uh, for that. Okay, so <clears throat> in terms of use cases, you can see the comparison basically. If you want to, I'm not going to read every, each and everything, but if you want to get the details, you can just pause the video and you can just try to read this uh, options basically. Okay. You can find in the first row, basically volume type GPT-3, uh, sorry, uh, GP-3, GP-2, okay, general purpose. And you can, uh, for the higher uh, no, provision IOPS, you can see the types of basically okay and if you look at the use cases you can see transactional workload virtual desktop okay medium size database okay not the heavy one okay <clears throat> low latency is interceptive interactive basically okay and other uh, stuffs basically and if you see the limitations of the volume size basically how much minimum and maximum size we can create okay with this uh, volume type basically okay 
as you can see gp gp3 and gp2 you can uh, create the volume size minimum 1 gp2 max 16 terabyte okay and if you can look at the provision apps volume type you can see io2 uh, block series basically you can create minimum four size to maximum 64 terabyte okay and you can see for other as well yeah iops for the iops you can uh, see uh 16 000, 16 000 for gp2 and 3 and for uh, io blocks you can see 250 2 000, basically okay so similar way if you look if you look at the pricing voice you can see here for gp3 you can see the uh, max throughput basically the performance wise it's uh, supported basically maximum 1000 okay per seconds and for gp2 you can see 250 mb uh, per second basically okay so as i said gp gp3 is more uh, uh, good basically in terms of performance and the costing wise as well you can see the costing wise per gb basically 0 0.08 okay and if you look at the gp2 volume type you can see 0 0.10 okay so uh, perhaps you can say consider as a 20 percent difference in the costing basically okay and performance wise also there are major perform uh, major uh, better performance as compared to gp2 okay so you can go with the gp3 options okay for more limitations you can obviously just if you can just search ebs volume types in the google basically you will get the all the details basically okay for now um, because uh, to concentration the video size i am just giving you the major part only basically and if you want to study more on the on that you can just uh, search on the internet okay so <clears throat> for the hard drive basically hard disk drive you can see uh hard drive back volumes are optimized for large streaming workload basically where the performance attribute is throughput okay and uh, there are two types of uh, volume types inside that okay sdd uh, optimized sdd and cold sdd when we create the uh, ebs volume basically in the from the aws console you can see these kind of options basically volume types general purpose ssd gp2 as we discussed right general purpose ssd gp2 okay <clears throat> sorry and general purpose ssd gp3 okay and uh, <clears throat> for other options provisional iops one and two okay and cold hdd and throughput optimized okay and the magnetic which is older one okay so if you look at the comparison wise you can see the use cases and the durability basically for throughput optimized and cold hdd okay and you can just see the use cases basically okay yeah so volume size can be increased 125 minimum to max 16 terabytes okay and for the magnetic drive which is previous generation volume type basically which is uh, where you uh, you can't expect you know uh, basically uh, the performance you just need to store your uh, older older uh, data for the longer period of time then you can just go with the magnetic tape drive okay so you can see the <clears throat> volume type is standard basically use cases where you don't need to access your data frequently basically so you can use this kind of magnetic drive basically okay and you can see the other options as well features basically and if you look at the pricing model for the ebs volume basically so you can see the volume type and the pricing basically okay so you can just uh, if you want to read each and everything you can just pause the video and you can just have it okay uh, the you can see the per gb or something you can, uh, pricing wise okay so according to your use cases workload and the performance wise the de uh, requirement basically you can choose the volume type basically for your proje projects okay so that's all for the today's session so in the day four for aws for beginners playlist okay we will cover the load balancer okay i hope you like the video and uh, please like and share the video so others can get the help help from this series basically okay so yeah, we will see in the next section.